So when people say like when a guy says, I'm gonna fuck the shit out of this girl or I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you. Do you think that that's literal? Oh, you know what's hot is when like a guy has like a watch and they're reverse parking. Is that the not fuck? hot? I never think about that. But even if I'm wrong too, I'm not the type that will admit I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they were legit crying. No, like no judgment yeah, no to joke. them. No joke. Yeah, like we're fine. Like you cry all you want, yeah. but we were both just like, this we're is not, not here for yeah. therapy. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think I'm at the right spot. <laughs> like, After I did it with this guy, he took me downstairs. He literally pulled up porn and was like, yo, take notes. Okay, so today on my <clears throat> podcast, I have Flo here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. Shut up. Your this podcast. is my special guest. Your podcast. Please, please, I'm special please, guest. please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm the special guest, Flo. You don't know me. You know her. Hi, I'm Novi. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Flo. Welcome to the next podcast. We have a wonderful guest here. Not wonderful, actually. She's an ass. <laughs> Welcome. Um, her name is Novi. Yeah. What's up, guys? <laughs> She's dying. Um, I'm, I'm hot. I'm shy. Okay. You're not shy. She was not shy before. It's okay. She was. She was ready for it. My armpits are wet. <laughs> so, want to tell us a little bit about yourself, or you just want to start right away? I'm Novi, and I'm Asian. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite color is yellow well this is how we became friends okay? okay i was very lonely and i was like you know what i need some more girlfriends so i decided to download bumble bff and then i saw her she was probably like the second person i saw and then oh. i was like oh this girl's cute okay i'm a swiper and then and then after that we just talked for two days yeah two days and then we hung out that week did yoga and I realized she was the homie because we both did not like yoga. We were not taking it seriously. <laughs> the part that I remembered was when they were giving head massages. And so they're going around touching the same heads. Yeah. Remember, they're like, who wants a massage? Raise your hand if you don't. And it's just me and Flo immediately. <laughs> we didn't want to. Like, don't touch it was us. literally me and her. We were like, please don't touch us. I don't want my head massage. <laughs> and, then, and then, like, there's times where we'd be doing downward dog. We're just like, oh, downward dog. We're just, like, laughing in the corner. Everyone's, like, really into it. It was, it was so boring. Even, like, in the beginning when everyone was, like, being all serious, I was like, yo, I cannot Wait, be serious. What was, that, what was that question that they asked? I'm releasing. What, what, what are you they? releasing today? Yeah, and what are you taking in? Yeah, taking in. And what, what were we, I was like, I forgot what it was. What was our answer? Like, what was our actual genuine answer that we would have said if no one would have judged us? I, no, I like, could not take it seriously. Yeah, me too. Because people were crying. <laughs> they were legit crying. No, like, no judgment yeah, no to joke. them. No joke. Yeah, like, we're fine. Like, you cry all you want. Yeah. But we were both just like, this we're is not, not here for yeah. therapy. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think I'm at the right spot. <laughs> like, I just came for a yoga party. <laughs> me too. And then we're all talking about our feelings. I was like, yo, this girl's actually crying behind us. Like, let me just say something that lightens up the mood. Yeah. No, because I think people were crying and we were laughing to ourselves in front of them. Yeah. Yeah, but no judgment. Like, you could cry all you want. <laughs> <laughs> you could cry. Like, I cry all the time. It's totally yeah. fine. It just wasn't the right environment to cry. Yeah. Like, it was just really awkward. Yeah. 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 But Which then that's like our first hangout. And I was like, okay, yeah. No, this girl like, I thank, hang I was out like, with. thank God this girl did not look enjoyed this yoga as much as i did didn't you go again or no no you didn't go anymore after that no. day no oh okay okay i thought you did oh wait no i went to a yoga class but not yoga party oh okay and yoga class was still like not for me have you gone to yoga since uh -uh. okay yeah no you no okay got dude it, yeah. ever since you like traumatized me with that yoga party <laughs> i was like bro never again am i gonna do yoga uh, that was like 30 dollars <laughs> I don't remember. I just know. I don't know. It works for some oh, people. Oh, I think I knew my answer. And they're like, what are you releasing? I was like, I'm releasing $25 from my wallet. I was like, so sad. You should have said that. You should have said that. I that was actually like, oh my God. Really I was funny. like, my money. <laughs> you should have said that. That would be really funny if you said it. I would have laughed my ass <laughs> off. Because I'd be like, me too. <laughs> all right. All right. I got something okay. to ask you. Okay. All right. Now, I don't know how she's going to react. Because I okay. love asking these random questions. Okay, so when people say, like, when a guy says, 
like i f- i'm gonna fuck the shit out of this girl or i'm gonna fuck the shit out of you like do you think that that's literal like they're gonna hurt them no like they're gonna fuck the actual shit out of you like what do you think oh my god i didn't think about it like that <laughs> Because I have, like, an actual answer to this. I want to know, like, do you think like, that... I feel like they're just releasing themselves. I don't think about, it like, like the shit out of their ass. Yeah. No? Has Maybe? it ever happened to you where you've been fucked to where shit came out of your no? ass? <laughs> like, you? like, after five seconds later. Is it, I think I would vomit. No, so, like, apparently I googled it that if you have, like, an O... And then, like, your muscles relax, but their, like, intestines are starting to spasm still. So then it actually causes my stomach to, like, ache. And then I had to take, like, the... I, like, literally cleared out my bowels. And, like, had my... Yesterday's poop came out. And then... Wait, are you talking about personal experience? or Yeah, no, experience? this is my personal experience. <laughs> and then your bed sheets? No, I mean, like, like, it was, like, after. And then I went to go to the bathroom after. You don't need fiber. That was like enough. Uh, I didn't need fiber. That was enough. It was actually crazy. Cause like the way like my poop works <laughs> is like I don't poop. You know this. I told yeah, you like yeah, yeah. I don't take number twos like every single day. But like I have been lately. But then my poops are delayed. Okay. So like sometimes like when someone eats like a whole day, the next day they can poop that out. Yeah. Mine's like pooping two days before. So that's like whatever like- I ate. What's that thing that people get their ass cleaned and then just like a douche? Everything? Yeah, a douche. No, that's, that's for what a vagina, it sounds right? Like. Oh wait, no, what's the ass one? Bidet. No, like the, the one where they shoot up your ass and then you clear out your poop. What's that one called? That's what I'm, that's what I think of right now. It's like guys do it. No. What or is that girls. called? It's like before you have you have anal. I think they clean up your ass. I've never heard of that. Yo, I want that. I thought I think it's real. Or maybe I need I'm making that. It up I, I need, need that. that. I need to release everything inside me. Yeah. Maybe you do it like at the doctor. It's weird. You literally eat like so little sometimes. Me? Yeah, and you still have massive poops. Dude, I sometimes just want to send pictures to you. They're literally the size of my forearms. That's crazy. And I, I don't barely know what it ever is. get that. I like, think you have like good bowel movements. I think it's like I drink gre- my greens, and sometimes in the morning I'm like, where'd that come from? It's like literally the size of my forearm. That's crazy. And like my ass is like tiny. Wait, so you I'm drink greens like, every single morning? Yeah. Like as soon as I drink it, an hour later, I'm like, Wait, since I, I've I met drinking, you? I, yeah, I stopped drinking coffee. And, like, I don't need coffee to poop or anything. And you have, like, a whole fist yeah, arm. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes and I, she and only eats, I'm like... And then I go to, like, the scale. And I'm like, oh, my God. I lost so much weight. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Because you literally eat, like, the smallest sometimes. And then she'd be having, like, massive poops. And I'm but like, I how the like, fuck did I you I feel like that? I could eat a lot. But just I'm a lazy cook. You know? Like, if I'm working, all I think about is work. So I don't, like, eat. Because I'm lazy. Like, I air fry everything. Cauliflower rice. In there. You're still doing cauliflower rice? Yeah, because I'm just lazy. And rotisserie chicken? Yeah. Oh, my God. Do you not get tired I of that? I eat eggs. Like, three eggs a day. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Like, cr- I eat crackers. Cheese. I'm lazy. That's not, that's not yes, bad, yeah, actually. I eat sun chips only until, like, dinner time. No I was, like, way. Because I was like, I can't. I was like, I don't want to get up. I want to, like, work. And I just forget. Oh, be careful. Because they can hear that water oh, crackling. Sorry. It's yeah. okay. But, yeah, so I forget. Mm. my poops are still pristine mm-hmm. yo sometimes my poops be like coming out all the way to like the top of the toilet have you, those are like good ones have you had those poops where it's on top of the toilet hole and you're scared to fl- and when you flush it it'll clog the toilet that, that was all the time like floating like, like yeah a log in front of it. and then they have to like fold itself <laughs> yeah that's that's <laughs> one like- i think when i'm in public <laughs> that's the ones i'm scared of Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I'm like, I, I hear there's a line outside of the stall, and I'm like, oh my fucking god, I might be that. Yo, girl and then it stinks. That clock, yeah. And you're coming out there and they're looking at you, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I feel like when I poop in public, I flush the toilet every time it's about to drop a log. Do you do that? Just no. so you don't hear that. Just so you heard oh, that. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah, so I never thought the, about thump. that. And if like someone goes, ew, what's that smell? I'm like, person next to me. <laughs> Maybe it's yeah. only one stall game over. Yeah, no, no. Like the last you don't say, no one ever asks though. They're yeah, just like sometimes they laugh. Or, no. or they yeah. sniff the like, oh, yeah. yeah, and I'm like, like that. oh I know. Oh, stinks. Who's farting in here? Last person. <laughs> Not me. Can't be me. Alright. Oh, I got another question for you. Alright. Okay. No, this is actually something that I I read on Reddit. 
Oh my gosh, I love Reddit. Yeah, me too. This is something that someone wrote, okay? Tell me if you agree. Okay. So men get false expectations about women from porn, just like women get false expectations about men from romantic comedies. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to be honest. True? Like, I don't... Okay, I don't watch porn to know what they actually show. So I don't even know what's going on, on online. But don't you I have, like, a general right idea of, like, what happens on porn? I, I would think it's just, like missionary is that the normal one missionary and doggy and that's like i don't know what else goes on yeah something stuff so like that people talk about like all these like oh like the terms like bondage handcuffs i'm like what's going on right but i literally go like what's going on okay so you don't really watch that stuff no. yeah it's just like to me when i read that i was literally like okay that's kind of true because like sometimes the guys i dated yeah, yeah, yeah. they would literally be like oh take notes or like one time this Take guy notes. yeah no after after i did it with this guy he took me downstairs he literally pulled up porn and was like yo take notes and i was like what so i actually took notes you took notes <laughs> oh my god i did i actually took notes i was like okay so this is what she does okay got it i mean it's actually like quite educational you can learn a lot on there actually oh my god, but you're so nice you actually take notes what was i supposed I, to say i feel like with my personality i argue I, what would like, you say oh, I take notes you take <laughs> notes you know i'm like Ugh. like i'm not gonna waste my time yeah no but you're just like i could imagine you too you're like so sweet because she'd be like oh okay yeah no and that then later was on, you'd be like this is what i learned yeah is no. that what you were thinking about like <laughs> you know what it's just because like guys always wanted me to look a certain way so like a guy would literally be like one of my exes would be like hey you see this you see kylie jenner's like hips and boobs like i want you to look like her so i went on amazon and oh i looked for growing vitamin titties or growing titty vitamins yeah and then i would take it well, on amazon that was like back in like you're so college you're so like i don't even i don't even think the word's nice no it's like a pushover yeah 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 i can't Shh, i'm not like that anymore no, you Come know on, no yeah no <laughs> Come on, no you know <laughs> me, like, I you. Can't. yeah and i'm like no yeah before I was like, like someone okay. like if like sometimes i argue with like my boyfriend and he'd be like oh like you know like some girls are nice and they cook with i'd be like okay well then let's break up I'm like go find that girl when he says that yeah, was like, he goes like oh like well you know most girlfriends like come home with like a home-cooked meal i was like well i'm not that girl I'm not that good. You know that's so mean. Yeah, to I'm say. like I'm not. It's, it's, like, like, it's like it's like mean, but sometimes I'm just like, I'm yeah, like, I gotta just say it. Just but you handle it. it really well, yeah. though. Yeah, because yeah. you turned it into a joke. I'd be fucking pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, what did you just say? Like, why don't you go date them then? And then you'd okay, be, you'd be like, bye. <laughs> yeah, I'd be crying. I'm sure like, oh, I take it back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll cook right now. <laughs> what do you want to eat? I'll give you a whole menu. You can pick one. <laughs> too nice yeah i know you i just feel over, bad but i think yeah. i feel like you're improving right i am improving i'm not a pushover as much anymore yeah i was pretty bad before i would say yes to everything mm. like oh boyfriend's flying over here for work okay fine like i'll pick up my life and go there yeah i was like really bad but then i realized the reason why i changed because i was like oh well like guys like kind of come and go like why do okay, i have to yeah, like yeah. change my life yeah, for them so too. yeah like, they should change their life yeah, for me, too. Yeah. Like, a compromise. So, I feel like... Okay, this is very biased of me. But I feel like with my friends, I would always want my friends to not be the ones that are, like... I guess, like, compromising for their significant other. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, like... If it's, like, the other way around, I'm pretty sure I'd be, like, the other person's, like, side. But if it's, like, you, for instance, like, if you were to date someone and they're, like, slow, move to here. I'd be, like, no. Like, slow. You should have that move for you. Yeah, like, do you yeah. really want to move? I feel yeah. like you would ask me. Yeah, like, I'd be like, do you really want to move? Is this for you? Yeah. And I was kind of like, it's like bad. But sometimes I get upset for my friend. Even though I shouldn't. Because like their decision. But I feel upset for them. If they're compromising for someone else. Even though like it's like compromising and they're not happy. But they're doing it still. Because I think that they think... Okay, like, so what, what are you supposed to do? If like a girl and a guy are together for yeah. like a year or two years... And then she's like, oh, I don't want to move because I don't know. But then, like, she wants, she's going to move. Yeah. Like, because if, if that guy's, like, in her future, it's okay to, like, compromise that. But I feel like he should compromise, like, also. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. later move somewhere else. Yeah. Or I would say, like, I would hope that the guy is also trying to make her happy. Yeah. And, like, not just, like, oh, I can't move because I can't move. But it's, like, why can't you move too for her? You yeah. Because I've seen situations where... Like, the girl might be able to move for the guy, but the guy's not even trying. You know, they're just like, oh, yeah, you need to move. I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, basically. Like, like, 
there's some guys yeah. like I dated that was like yeah. that. They're Everyone very like that. hardhead. They're like, you're never going to find a guy that would move for you. That's what someone said to me. Because I wanted to move to like Oregon. And then they were like, you're never going to find someone that wants to move to Oregon. I was like, no, I think I would. Yeah. Yeah. Like if someone like really loves you, you know that saying that they say, if he wanted to, he would. It's like, if he would, <laughs> like, if he could, he would. Or he could, he would. If he yeah. could, he would. That's why I, would, I tell my friends all the time when, like, they get into arguments with their boyfriends about, like, certain things are, like, technically they could do it, but they're lazy. And I'm like, if he could, he would. It just depends you on know? priorities. Yeah. I yeah. think. Because if a guy really prioritizes you over everything else, they would do everything for you. Yeah. 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 I do believe that. All, and before, I did not. I was like, oh, oh they're did? busy. You're gone. Then, you're all so. I can't. I get so. I get so. So it's like oh, bad you would of hate me, but, me back yeah, then. But it's like it's just me. Like I can't control my feelings. Like, I get upset for my friends. Sometimes I wonder if I get more upset than them. Probably no. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, that's literally like my sister. Like, I want. I literally want the best for my friends. And when I see that it's not going that way, I get so upset. And I'm yeah. like, oh my god, like. Who am I? <laughs> well, what do you do? You talk to them about it? No, sometimes like I do, and I would say stuff. But if I just see it keep happening, I get so frustrated to the point where I'm like, I can't, like, I can't watch anymore. It just kind of you know? sucks. Yeah, because I feel like all I could do is give advice and hope that they decide to do the best thing for them. Oh, you would literally not want to be my friend. Like, luckily, you found me after. Oh, okay, okay. Because like, if you had met me like months before we actually met, you would go crazy. You'd probably stop being my friend. Oh I was going through a roller coaster up and down. Break up, get back oh, together. Break up, get back that's together. The worst. You would hate it because then I would call you and be like, <laughs> they broke up. And you'd be like, oh, it's okay. Next day, oh, we're back together again. Next time, oh, they broke up. Oh, we're I would back have together such again. a headache. You would hate me. You know, like, it's like those things where your friend is dating someone toxic and all you're doing is waiting for them to break up. And then once they tell, they tell you, like, oh, we broke up, you're like partying, celebrating. And then two minutes later, they call you, like, we got back together. And you're like, wow you just like got my hopes up <laughs> i threw a party and then you <laughs> i have to unthrow that party <laughs> no this is literally like like i think the only person that was able to handle that type yeah. of like roller coaster honestly was ty because oh ty God. was like everybody else was annoyed at okay, me. okay i was literally telling them they were so annoyed because they were like you know everyone comes together and they want to help you out yeah, yeah. and then when this th- thing keeps going over and over again ty was literally oh like God. He's like the most non-judgmental about it. He was like, "Oh, for good, man, that's okay. Like, what what's going on and blah blah." I just I think at that time I just needed someone to vent to because okay, like okay. logically it makes sense. Yes, mm. leave the person. Emotionally, you can't do it. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. I know. So I think I've learned to accept that there. I do have friends that they aren't. They would not be in the best relationships, and they would rant and they would go through breakups, get back together, and all that. But I've just learned to accept that at the end of the day, it's their life. It's their decisions. Even if they break up or don't break up, they're living with the consequences, not me. Yes. So true. I could tell them that, hey, you could break up, but I'm not the one living with the aftermath. Yeah. So I'm just like, okay, well, you do you. And I'm just here to like listen and maybe like watch from afar as you date this terrible man. <laughs> Loki judge. And yeah, Loki judge just a little bit. Then knowing me, a Loki judge. <laughs> Loki judge. Not even Loki. I'll verbally say it. <laughs> like knowing me, like my personality, I'd be like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, she, she's like i can't i'm cringy x x on it right you know yeah that's how she is yeah. at least i'm honest i would say like no i like yeah. that yeah i like that you're really honest okay. because there's not a lot of people that are like going to verbally tell yeah. you something yeah oh good that's like the only thing because it's just like <laughs> sometimes i think when it comes to relationships you when you have like a best friend, you just want what's best for them. Yeah. And so then like when you're seeing them going down like a, the wrong path, you want to literally grab them and like be like, oh my God, control yes. them. Yes. Like wrong path. Yeah. But you can't. You just yeah. got to support them. Next question. Um, 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 um. But would you say women also get false expectations from of men based off of like rom-coms? Like, like kind of like Korean dramas? Yeah. That's me. Oh, probably. Dude, sometimes like you, think, you think that they would open the door for you. Do you think you think they would carry you in the rain? No, you think yeah. that like in the rain, and all of a sudden they pop up with an umbrella and they kiss you out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you think you think you're having a hard time at work, and they pop up and do your work for you, or they're the CEO of the company, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> but in reality, you look over and they're actually just an analyst like you. Exactly. 
<laughs> dude that was like back in the day and then you want that tall yeah. handsome romantic guy but nah nah, nah. You, like you start dating him be like yo your grandfather owned this company <laughs> right and they they show up wearing uh suits all the time yeah um i actually like guys in suits oh they look so good it's like it's not a thing in austin i would say not a thing in california as often but in new york you do see it because of finance bros oh really because mm-hmm. i think they have to dress up in like a dress shirt and pants but but what i don't like if it's oversized like, no it has to be fit yeah, perfectly be fit. yeah yeah which you don't really see often no you don't yeah if but. you have if a man walks around tall nice hair got a watch on okay oh you know what's hot is when like a guy has like a watch and they're reverse parking is that the not boy? hot i never think about that no it's like no because the way that they do it is like they put their arm over the passenger seat and they have to like look back. So then when they have like a chiseled what jawline, are you, watching? you yeah. see, no, this is like normal. Like you need to take the time to look when, with your boyfriend and like his chiseled jawline comes out. If he has a watch on, he's reverse parking. He's like looking over with his chiseled jawline. Uh, next time I'll pull up my camera and be like, slowly, please. <laughs> yeah, do it, please. I need show flow. This is actually real. No, do it. I swear, do it. You're going to literally be like, oh, actually, that's pretty hot. If he's like, I don't need to turn because I have this fucking camera right here. The reverse camera. Okay, then that's not hot anymore. No, it's <laughs> You'd not. Be like, why are you turning around? We have a camera. Yeah, right you there. don't need to. You this don't. This Tesla self-parks. And then turn off the turn off the turn off the screen. <laughs> it's like this Tesla is parking for you, and you're pretending to turn around. Oh my god, do you remember when you were trying to practice parking? I still. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I still can't park for my life. No I way, I reverse no park because of my camera and those lines that will like guide me. That's pretty good. But if there's two cars and I have to park normally, I'm gonna park far away. I'm just gonna walk. Even if it's raining, I'm going to walk. Why is it so hard for you to park? I'm just scared that I'll hit a car. I've like literally spent, I think we spent an hour yes. trying oh to God. help her practice parking. <laughs> and I still, like, I'm still too scared. Like, I if, like I know, this. if I know I'm going to go somewhere and there's going to be parking problems, I'm going to fake COVID. I'm, I can't do it. I would ask people like, how big's the parking lot? Yo, you keep throwing. I literally ask them like, how big's the parking lot? You keep throwing the faking COVID excuses a lot hey listen guys i'm just kidding <laughs> i'm just kidding that'll be, that'll be so good she oh, she God. doesn't lie she doesn't talk no. about covid as her excuse i don't yeah no she doesn't I, I mean, I think i'm just gonna say like oh i pulled a muscle exactly that's like the older people like excuse i use dude i always be making excuses all the time yeah right here but her excuses are not good my excuses are actually honest though because sometimes i'm just straight up tired yeah i'll be like yeah, i'm tired say I'm antisocial tired? what do i say food poisoning okay that's real okay <laughs> i'd be dying sometimes that's like okay? real okay i actually die yeah my, yeah, my gut I issues i don't think that's an excuse i feel like you don't even use excuses you just show up late <gasps> i do not show so, up late if you want if okay if i uh-uh ha- no like you know if they have that thing like someone has to ask like oh if like if you could get a million dollars and you could call someone, they would be late. And if they're late, you get a million dollars. Who would you call? I'd be like, I'll call Flo. No way. I'll get a million dollars. No away. way. Yeah. That's not true. I actually am on time. Late. The late, late. Okay, late to her is like five minutes. Yeah, la- first that's of late. First of all. I, I'm this type of friend. That I'll hold up a phone. And if it's like, if I saw five o'clock and it's 5.01, I'd be like, late. Bro, it's five late. minutes. Five minutes is not late, late. okay? <laughs> God, these are complicated. Late. She's that was, complicated. If that was, if that was a flight, she's late hell no nah. the, the plane's uh, no, that's not. not true that's not true okay you want to talk about flaws between the both of us you want to go there i'm perfect <laughs> oh are you know my only flaw is anger i feel angry a lot that's my only flaw. that's not even a flaw hmm. no yours is like anti-social and angry sometimes but that's normal for introverts yes so it's like flaw. a flaw. Oh, okay, 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 no, I know. Gaslighting. It's not gaslighting when it's the truth. No. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> now you're like, now you're like, your head's no. like, oh, do, 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 do. is she not right? True. You're like, the, 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 the. ask not time. Time. Ask, ask, time. ask time. I ain't no shit. <gasps> oh, shit. No, 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 shit. You know? Well, uh uh-uh. uh. Yo. Don't, don't listen to Ty. Ty, you listening to this? Mm. <laughs> listen okay guys she if you were to look oh at God. me and nofi who is actually 
like appearance wise is innocent. <laughs> <laughs> Me? I'm very no. I'm Look very at, innocent. I feel like I'm with very your, sweet. I feel like yeah. I will say Flo looks fierce with your makeup style. Like you have that, that vibe, your hair's long. Like you you look like you could take your hair and whip someone or choke someone. Choke someone out. But mm-hmm. Flo is like like a little teddy bear sometimes. Like one oh, time t- remember one time I jumped you she was in the back seat of the car and I wanted her phone and I literally just turned around and like crawled through the thing. I, I was screamed. like, and she screamed and threw her phone at me. She's like, take it. She's like, I will just get off. I'm a pussy. It. And she was like screaming and I was like, oh my God. That's when I realized I was like, oh my God. She's so delicate. No, see, okay. Cause I used to look very innocent before yeah. I started doing makeup. My face was very innocent. Really? So okay. people could pick on me. They used to call me little Bambies. Like I had a friend who, who would like, this was like in Vegas. I had a friend and we would go shopping. She would be like taking a shoe, put it on. And she's like, Flo, bend down and put it away for me. And I actually did. I bent down. I put it away for her. And like, oh I would God. spend eight hours doing her makeup for like Halloween. And she would just buy food for all of her friends and never ask her? me. No. You know, she was like probably the worst friend. And then she would like, we would go to Target and she would go in the car and run, lock the doors and then just drive off and be like, bye. And I have to walk home. Oh my God, what's her name? Let's look her up. <laughs> I feel angry now. <laughs> no, that's why. I am so angry now. That's why I have like an exterior. Okay, when did this so happen? people in college. Okay, this so was she was literally be, before so I moved Are you here. saying that she would not expect that if, like, I find her on Instagram and, like, make her life? I mean, I know her name and last name. She blocked me um, because of reasons. Like, she was liking one of my close friends. And I was okay. like, hey, be careful because this guy's just a flirt. Yeah. So I don't think there's anything there. And I really tried to, like, warn her. Okay. And she just didn't like that. She got really upset. And she also didn't like that I went to a master's program before her because she was trying to go to optometry school. Yeah. And she wanted, like, people to, like, basically fail with her. Do you think she listens to you now? I don't think so. I'm not really sure. I don't really care, to be honest. If you were watching, fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) You look like I just feel so angry. She was, like, a bully. Yeah. That's why I'm like, what the... Yeah. Even my family would say she was, like, a bully because her like getting in the car locking door and driving off yeah like that's just rude you know or telling me to like go down front after she locked the door and like i was i i'm the type of person that just takes it that's why because i always tell ty this too i'm like yo i can take it he's like well you you can take it but you don't need to yeah but i think that's why i can take like even like sometimes the hate and stuff because i'm just like okay cool like whatever like i could take the beanie or even relationships you know you want to fucking like like choke me and spit on me i'll still be with you like it was like that before oh my god i'm like so speechless i, I feel like so angry i'm not like that anymore i'm a lot yeah. stronger now but i feel like you're like it's like it was a long time ago but i'm like okay well now it's her turn to suffer yeah i mean you, you <laughs> think... i felt so vengeful but i'm like okay well you did that to someone so now you deserve it too well that's why you thought that you i know? had an exterior on the outside yeah because I, I feel like it. physically if i see you and i didn't know you i'd be like oh she looks like she could be mean you know, I try to she, give off she, that vibe. Yeah, or she looks like she could be like someone that's like type A personality, very opinionated. But you're like the complete opposite. Or bitchy, yeah. And yeah, I feel like you're like so delicate, so nice, so like, you know. like. But that's the know? problem because like once you can get past my exterior, yeah. I'm exposed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can touch me. You can fucking <laughs> you can hit me and I'll say it's okay. I'll, I'll say sorry. <laughs> like you. Yeah. <laughs> you could get hit and you'd be like i didn't do it i asked for it it was my fault what did oh my i do god. wrong like, like i walked into your fist and you'd be like oh like oh my god i hurt your i'm fist. so sorry i walked into it oh my god yeah, yeah. oh my, yeah i used to like grow up like that too it's like living with like your asian household it's like you're not with your parents like yeah. you're never really wrong or you're always the wrong one like you can't like argue back even if you know you're right yeah so then even if i knew that i was right i still had to apologize even though i was like what am i apologizing for you actually apologize i would always apologize even though i was like right oh my god because if someone keeps arguing i'm just like over it i'm like okay i'm sorry for everything well it's like one of those things like if you if like the police officers were questioning you and they're like admit that you were wrong are you the type that'd be like even though you know you didn't do it you'd be like i did it yeah back then oh god yeah i could i could sit for hours and be like no like that's what like when i was growing up my aunt would like 
accuse us of things and even if we didn't do it she would make us sit in like the kitchen for 24 hours and i'd be like no i didn't do it i just sit there i didn't do it for 24 hours yeah it's like sit to like she goes out she goes eating and stuff and we're just like you just have to sit yeah but she knew you guys didn't do it and she just wanted to like punish you in her mind she thinks we did it but obviously i'm not gonna gaslight myself if i didn't do it so i would like literally just sit there and so that's why i was just like you know if i knew i didn't do anything wrong i'm not gonna ever admit that i'm wrong but even if i'm wrong too i'm not the type that will admit i'm wrong (laughs) I would look at my it. grave and be like, I didn't do it. Yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah, I can see that from you, actually. Ways. Oh, what? Yeah, I can see that. Like, I can okay. see that, like, even if, like, you low-key know that what you did was wrong, but I feel like you just don't want to admit I'm really gaslight it. I'm going to myself to believe that I wasn't the right. Yeah. You know? Well, like, why do you do that? Is it because you just want, like, people... I think, it, I think it depends on the situation, like, who I'm fighting with. Okay. So if I was, like, fighting with a friend and I knew for sure I was wrong and I want the friendship to work, I'll be like, okay, I, I see, see yeah. the part that you did wrong, and I see the part I did it wrong, I will talk it out. But if it's, like, something that's, like, petty... I feel like it's your boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, if it's, like, boyfriend, family, um, no. Yeah, I yeah, I will yeah. in my grave and say that I was not <laughs> Yeah, no, I can see... I will like, rally people behind me. <laughs> you start texting people, like, hey, by the way, back me up, okay? I know oh, I was there, wrong. No, oh my God, the, the part is, like, I did argue with one of my sisters recently, and she called my younger sister, and I called my older sister, and I rallied everyone. And they were like on my side. Even though you're wrong. I was for sure not wrong. Or you were not wrong. Even if I was wrong, I would say I was not wrong. You still rally people up? Oh yeah, for sure. I'll be on your side. I'd be like, are you team Novi? Are you team like... Wait, do you see me as like someone that could be on your side? Even if I know that you did something wrong? wrong? I would say it depends. If like, for instance, I fought with Ty, I feel like you would actually be like, okay, who's actually on the right? But if it was like me fighting with someone that you're not as close with, you're like, Novi's right. And then you're like, oh, 100%. And then you're like, Novi, you were wrong. Or like, oh, yeah, but shh. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, you know, Novi, sh- you're wrong, but I still got your Yeah, back. you're yeah. like, you could like, I, I could be a fr- like, if you were like in a relationship and you cheated and I knew you were wrong, I'd be like, like, someone was just like, the flow cheat. I'd be like, hell no, she didn't cheat. But behind you, I'd be like, oh, shh. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna help together. Yeah, yeah. You no, know? you would yeah. actually yeah, end up sure. giving reasons. So let's say I like was dating someone and, and like, I the cheated. Dick slipped in. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you'd be like, it's okay. It's okay. The dick slipped in. You fell on it. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, you know? I'd be like, it was um, it was in your imagination. It never happened. I'm like, oh, That's you're right. You're so yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But behind, like, I would publicly never tell people that my friend is wrong, but behind closed doors i would be like to my friend i'd be like you're in the wrong yeah like you would but tell me like that's probably wrong but sh- it's embarrassing Shh. yeah yeah, like, yeah. Sh- no that's totally yeah. like that's, that's how totally. it would be i like yeah. that though <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, always you, I always tell you about my friendships like i value loyalty so much like if we are close friends i'm gonna like be on your side forever even if you're like yeah falling out with someone i'd be like nah i'm on your side mm-hmm. i would cut them for you like i'm on your side but what if you know? like you were friends with someone for like many years but then you're closer to this other person that you only knew for like a couple years whose side would you take I would a feel, childhood I, friend I, like i feel like sometimes like childhood friends are not actually like friends you know like how like knowing someone for a longer period of time doesn't mean that the friendship is just as valuable that's true you know yeah so if it's like someone that i've known since childhood but we're just like acquaintances or we're just like friends that we see every so often at parties i would still choose my friend that i have a better relationship with now yeah me too yeah yeah i'm like yeah because for me it's like i don't have a lot of friends you know that like <laughs> you're hey. one of mine and then there's ty and it's just I like say quality over quantity though yeah it's true but it's like how do you because you have a lot of friends though yeah i'm just like how the heck do you keep up with all of them oh uh, i'm gonna be and honest stay like close. i feel like for me most of my friendships are low maintenance friendships those are good yeah those so are those, like ones. those are the best and yeah. two there are people that I, know, so I choose my friends based on, like, who I know will have my back. So the, the people that I'm friends with now and, like, are super close are because they have my back. But the people that I'm not, you know, like, it seems like I have a lot of friends, but pe- those people are sometimes just, like, people I hang out with because they ask me and I have time. But I wouldn't feel like I could openly be myself. You yeah, know, that yeah. makes sense. So if you were actually to think about your friends so you can openly be yourself with, how many friends do you have? Not including family. Yes, not including family. Someone you're like just really like, close to. I would to. say like less than ten. Oh, okay, okay. But what she actually you? has like twenty friends. Yeah. Oh, the, those are just my close friends. So it's like, it's it's Benji and then Ty and then my cousin Andy. We're very very close. You can't list family. Oh. <laughs> she just went I only to got three. two friends and then you three. <laughs> <laughs> but 
I always say quality over uh, quantity over quality get married. Or quantity. If I get married, you know, just like three is like fine. I say three is fine. I told myself when I get married that like. I'm probably not going to even have like a bridesmaid section because if I take my bridesmaid no, and I put days. it on there, there's no one in the audience. You, like, <laughs> you have to hire like actresses and actors to be in the wedding. Yeah, no, I totally would, but that's embarrassing. But I feel like that's us. I feel like at the end of the day, it's quality over quantity. Cause like imagine having so many friends, but if you like, they don't have your back, that would suck. Yeah, you but know? then how great would it be to have more friends that completely have your back? Like, there's oh, people yeah, out okay, there. yeah, I know what they're you mean lucky. Too. I mean, it's not too late, too. <laughs> I'm old, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, old, wrinkly person. Uh, also, I think as you like get older, making adult friendships is just so hard. It is so difficult, man. You know, like, yeah. I feel like even the first time we met, I was like, okay, well, that's still like a meetup with girls, you have to click right away ish and if you don't people don't really want to hang out anymore we have to also make the effort to go because before in school you just see them every day yeah you're like oh i have to sit next to you so yeah. we have to be friends and then we'll get closer in that yeah. way yeah you know it's like you like i feel like in school you bond through like the trauma of like classes and like all those tests and stuff but now as an adult like how do people make friendships like how i are know your friends? i know it's like, so much effort like someone has to text someone that's like someone has to text someone like you have to like the same activities you know? It's true. Yo, it's so hard. calling you. Yeah. Wait, I need to turn this off. Like, when I try to make friends, I'm always trying to make sure that, like, they're low maintenance. Okay. And then I'll... This is why I don't have many friends is because I want to... I don't put a lot of effort into friendships unless I really think you don't drain my social battery. Okay. And not judgmental and just chill. Okay. But there's a lot of people that are kind of, like... They're friends with you for a purpose sometimes. Oh, like they're using you. Yeah. Okay. And so you can't really know for sure. And then you also just don't know if like they're being fake either. Yeah. I feel like you just have trust issues. Oh, I do have trust issues. Because it's just like, I think I got burned so much. Because I, before I'd be like, oh, okay, like I'd be friends with them. I'd be friends with all these people. And then they bully you. And then they talk shit about you. And then there's, it's just exhausting. It's just better mm -hmm. not having any friends. I like being by myself actually. Because then no one can hurt you. Sometimes, like, you know, like, if you want to go eat and you want to order five dishes, who are you going to eat with? You don't... You look, I'm not you. I don't want to order five dishes, okay? Well, you want to taste a little bit of everything. Okay, so that's, like, not one me. of... Remember, that's, like, one of my requirements. That's my friendship. I ask, like, do you do family style? Yeah, if they say did. no, I'm sorry. I'm not going to go eat at a brunch place and eat only eggs benedict i want a little bit of your pancake i want a little bit of like whatever you're eating that salad that steak like i want everything okay but her like her family eating is like i was like yeah sure i do that because it's like when you go to a chinese restaurant you're gonna do that yeah yeah okay but you go to like a vietnamese restaurant the I'm only gonna show i'm gonna I look at only I'll self take a little, i'll take a little bowl <laughs> <laughs> you only order per person like what do you want a pho number one pho number two pho number three we're not what ordering i want to taste your pho what if everyone orders the same pho okay well that's different okay, okay. well i'm gonna order a rice dish so i could eat your pho oh you can have some of my rice <laughs> I like a little variety. Okay, what about... Um, it was funny because we went to okay. BJ's one time, right? Yeah. And sometimes when you order BJ's, they just come in like your own entree. She's out here like... Like, she's out here ordering all different types of entrees and yeah. like making all of us share. And like we went to eat with one of our friends and she was just like... <laughs> Family style BJ's? Do you remember? Oh my god. <laughs> Who? Yeah. <laughs> the, like, the, what the... I was like, oh, yeah, you like, don't know. The thing is, like, okay, if you go to something like BJ's and I want a, a pizza, am I just going to eat that pizza while you're eating that delicious pasta <laughs> that I want to buy? Pizza you can share. Yeah, uh, yeah, but still, some of that's an entree. But what if, like, if it's like steak? Yeah, I want to buy for your steak too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like, oh, dude, I think it just should be like people that don't want to do family style just can't. Like, it depends but it's family style is very expensive though then for one person yeah, the to only just, like, time yeah. that you don't need to do family style is like if you go to chipotle yeah you keep your own i'll keep my own oh you don't want yeah. a taste of the chicken noodle soup and At someone chipotle? to order or chipotle or chick-fil-a Chip, uh Did you say both Chip oh okay i'm not gonna share my chicken sandwich and get your own <laughs> it's like small yeah but you're not gonna want family style the chicken nuggets and the chicken tenders. that's communal that's like appetizers that's like oh you share. okay okay you know but if it's like burger you have your own yeah okay so fast foods yeah what about in and out same right yeah i'm gonna okay. eat three burgers like you know 
you eat three burgers. I can eat three burgers. That's on actually seat? crazy. No, on actually, I believe you. You can. Okay. You can eat. Yeah. But you don't want to eat sometimes. Because I'm not hungry. Like I eat when I'm like hungry. Yeah, she can eat. You know, because it's just like you know how I am. Like weekdays, I don't really eat because I'm working. Yeah. You know, but if I'm like free, I'm just watching TV. Yeah, I'll eat everything. Yeah. You know, I love. Man, food. I kind of wish like I want us to like spend time and. Um, mm-hmm. remember the Korean food we used to buy all the time? Remember the oh my god, remember we buy stuff for I ASMR. Like we, I feel like we've just been so busy. You I know? know, yeah. I'm so glad that you came though, cause like nice to catch up here while we're like yeah. doing this, cause we actually haven't hung out in a really really long time. How long has it been, dude? It's been like half a year maybe. Oh really? Yeah. Damn. I think it's cause we've just been busy, you know, like work, holidays, yeah. family stuff. Just like, I warned her too, though, because I told her, I was like, listen, this month that I'm hanging out with you is a very odd Why month. I? I told you like that month. I was like, I'm normally not like this. Like, I normally don't go out this much and say oh, yes yeah, to yeah, everything. Yeah, you were, it was, we met during a time when you were taking so a break. burnt out yeah. that you need to take a break. Yeah. And guys, she showed up on my couch every single day. I was starting to think that you were obsessed with me in a good that way. was like in living with her way. practically yeah, yeah. she was literally like every day like on my phone i think if i go back to that time it's literally Flo mooning me with her like wearing a skirt and mooning me her like <laughs> on my couch sleeping yeah you know, just like yeah i feel like yeah that was like a you were a lot more free during that yeah time. and sometimes i would text her and be like pack up yeah pack up. i'm, c- I'm coming for you and i'm like pack oh. up you know she like packs up in- stuff into her backpack and i'm like pack up come over and she's like no you pack up and i used to go and like um go with her to her stuff and her errands like i just did everything yeah, with her yeah. yeah i feel like it's just like life picked up you know well yeah once i started my streaming stuff back up and then i'm starting to do this stuff i was just like man yeah i think it's like it's also hard because our schedule is different like i work a nine to five and then you stream at night and that's like our schedules are kind of like opposite yeah you know yeah and then on when- weekends we're both very introverted so sometimes we just want to lay down on our own couches yeah so just like and then you were traveling i was traveling it's just i wish that we could have just like merged our home yeah like literally Wait, next door have you seen that picture of like two houses together and then there's a hallway connected to it and like they're just like friends living like no i've never houses. seen it is it a townhouse it's like a, literally a house but it has a little tunnel that's what we should have that'd be sick you know at the end of the day it's like hey are you hungry and like that would be so door. cool you know yeah i think that's why i was like and you know how they have those like amazon homes that are like ten thousand dollars or that. something i yeah. saw it. i was like yo what if i set up camp behind yeah, you should, in your my backyard, backyard. My backyard's big enough. yeah pull up, pull no seriously up. like hey, that should free. be you should totally do that oh would you buy the house for me though yeah you want to live there <laughs> i would it actually like, and because i'd be like lunchtime fun. it's actually a cool house i would i would say i actually eat meals when people are around like friends like if my friends are like staying over or like visiting me i'll eat lunch yeah i'm working but if yeah. not if i'm home alone mm I'm like, at first, I'm like, oh, I'll just eat when. It's just I lonely, that's why. Yeah, and I'm like lazy. Oh, I want to show you later. I've been trying this like new tuna can thing from H Mart. Tuna? It's pre- not anchovies. Do you like tuna? I would say depends how like you're making it. I don't, no, I, I eat don't it like straight out of the can, like sardines. Is it dry? Yeah, it's dry as hell. On crackers? No, I just eat it straight. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry though. <laughs> <laughs> i'll show you later it's okay. it's actually pretty yummy but like it's like uh marinated in like well freaking what were you eating before that's what you i was like, eating tuna yeah i thought it was something else before you had like cans of like something sardines, sardines? that was like you right yeah no that's like my freaking meals i feel like you eat that with rice um, no i just straight eat it from the can yeah, you're kind of like a cat <laughs> yeah it's like tuna sardines i love sardines and i love tuna man this was so good then your stomach's like dude i will show you okay i'm gonna put you on that sardine life she's on a rotisserie chicken life and eggs like, and eggs yeah no you do i'll do like sardines avocado eggs or sardines like, rice your meal is like actually a meal you have like everything um so i also saw this where it says talk to the weird nerdy girls in college or high school because half of them will end up being hotter than the popular girls in five years i was not nerdy so i wouldn't know you look like this the whole time yeah were you like the hot popular girl in school i wouldn't say i was hot like i'm not gonna call myself hot but (laughs) (laughs) Mm, i'm not gonna say that i mean no comment yeah yeah yeah. but there are guys out there (laughs) 
school. I hope we'll never see these things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but there were guys that liked me. I was, okay. When I was in high school, I wish I focused more on my education. That's what I would say. Oh, me too. I focused a lot on guys. Me too. The guys' attention. I played volleyball, so guys came to watch and all these things. That's all I cared about. Spending time with, like, getting attention from guys. That's all I cared about, which is, like, bad when I think about it. Why did you want attention from guys? I wonder I if it's bored. the same reason. I was, like, honestly bored. And they would buy me gifts. And I was bored. Oh, okay. Mine was, like, I was just insecure. No, I was more, like, like, you know, like, oh, yeah, like, everyone should like me. Oh, okay, okay. You know? yeah, yeah, But she... <laughs> You're over it. She's <laughs> over it. She's moved on from that. No, I can't. I believed okay. it because I was very, very ugly in, like, high school. Were you? In college, yeah. Dude, my glow phase was probably, like, three years ago. Yeah, show you. pull up. I, okay, wait, I need to pull think? up. I don't... I feel like... I honestly feel like I look the same, but maybe Let you Let me see think if I can show you, like, what I look like. High school, like. right? You know how people are doing Bro, that, I swear that I trend right this. now, like, 21, like, when they were 21? Oh, I saw that, yeah. Okay, look, this was me. I'm not even joking, though. Like, I'm trolling, but I'm, this is, like, me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, this was me in high school, or college, actually. This you was college. You walked around looking like this? Yeah. And I had, like, acne cool. like that. I was like, yo, what's This up? is me in high school. I look the same ish right oh yeah like we're probably like more like baby fat around like my cheeks and stuff but literally this is how i look i look you look pretty much the same yeah so no dude yeah no i look disgusting guys, i was crusty if she ever shows you that picture no i will i'll post it okay girl <laughs> <laughs> look look you was, delete that okay look it's like it got like a couple guys a few guys Shit. you know where they okay the guys that you got that they wear glasses and then you told them to take off the glasses they looked at you they were they're were, they were pretty nerdy yes they all had okay, glasses okay. and they're all like five four okay that <laughs> yeah <laughs> with that picture <laughs> look i okay so so i worked on my personality the whole time okay. okay they said they said if you ugly you work on your personality men will like you if you have no tits you get a fat ass men will like you so that's why that's what I worked on. And I didn't know I was going to have like a glow up phase. Like I thought like I didn't know I was going to look better <laughs> with makeup and stuff. I feel like with that, okay, honestly, I've seen you without makeup and I feel like you look fine. Better and than I that photo? Oh, yeah. Look at that photo. It's like. What did I look like to you in that photo? Like Kevin like, Lynn? I, it's like, no, it's like those people. Okay. You know, I don't know if you know this, but there are people that you walk by on the street that you don't even look at. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you look totally like. But I feel like now if I were to see on the street and I don't know you, I would actually just like look. Okay. You know, but if you were at that phase where I would be like Would you be my friend? Yeah, I mean I'm not hello. Uh, okay, okay. I'm not the type that would be like, you're ugly, I'm not gonna be your friend. Okay, okay. No, I'm not like come off that way. I'm not like that. Yeah, no, I don't even think that any of you guys would be watching me if I look like that, to be honest. Yeah, guys, zero fans. Like, yeah, zero. Zero, zero yeah. followers. All you could do is probably sell feed pics. Cause you have to show your face. If you look like that. Hey, hey, look like that with an ass though? Oh yeah. Well, I would well, go it's kind of like, like it's kind of like have you seen guys wear yoga pants? And yeah, I don't know. So yeah, and you're like Dude. And you turn around, you used to do it, and you're like, ah. Guys, asses sometimes do be better than girls. Yeah. And lashes. Lashes. Too. Oh yes. yes. Guys have really long lashes sometimes. Like my brothers have long lashes and fat bubble butts. And then the girls, mm, no. no. But you guys got like the boobs. Yeah. Which but would you rather have a fat ass or tits? Tits. Why? Because I feel like with butt, can you like work on that? Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you can but grow with tits, it for like, sure. I'm not going to go there. You have to get surgery for this. That's true. Yeah. You, you can't know. grow a boob. Yeah. Yeah. But you can wear like padded bras. But they have like all day. those like workouts. Like you can grow your chest bigger. Do by you really doing... think you could grow your chest though? It doesn't work. I've tried it. Yeah. Because like, like maybe a little like, bit. Imagine if you wear like a push up bra to make it look big and people think it's big. And then one day they like touch it and you're like. Do you know how bad I was is I would wear my mom's like C cup bra and then like it's like you would touch it and it's like <laughs> all <Duh>. air <laughs> and then you wear a seatbelt and the seatbelt goes in the crack of the bra and then I would wear like butt pads too because I didn't have an ass back then. So oh I was like it looked like I was so curvy with my butt pads, like, my mm, boobs. I was born like this as yeah. well as you naked and they're like ah! that's why I made it a point <laughs> to just not have sex okay. like in college really? just so I could walk around looking like that. Oh my god. Yeah. But I would say like, do you actually know people personally that was nerdy in high school, middle school, whatever, and now they're hot? Oh, yeah. 
Really? I know some people, yeah. It's it's actually true. Like some of okay. the girls, like Asians actually, I think like Asians have a very late glow up phase. Okay. Well, like because there's like white girls at in like middle school and high school and they're like at their prime. Oh, and then okay, the okay. Asians look like they're still in like sixth grade. Yeah, like they're like little nerdy and, like, you know, glasses like, with the bowl cut yeah, still, yeah. the side bangs and like acne. And then once we're in like I don't know, past college or it's in like the, college. It's the after college. Like when yeah. you're a young professional. Yeah. I would say, right? Or something in college. They grew yeah. up in college. You just all of a sudden, it's like, holy shit, who was that? That was yeah. you back then? <laughs> That's like yeah. your reaction to my photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, no, I think for me, from what I've seen people in high school, I feel like they've kind of stayed the same. Okay. You know, or people get like, obviously you have kids. And Wait, like did you go to older. Asian school um, though? It was mostly Asians and white people. Oh, okay. Like okay. it was like, I would say 98% of our school was white and Asian. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like one of the only Asians. There's probably like two really? Asians out of my entire school. That's and they're crazy. all white. Really? Yeah. Dude, that's, that's crazy. But the thing is like my school didn't have ABGs. Mine didn't either. ABG didn't come yeah, till after like, I no, graduated. ABG was like all the other sc- schools around us. Oh, I heard there was like a saying to like the colleges about like in California. So like they'll say like Irvine has all the ABGs or San Diego has all the ABGs or whatever. Yeah. And LA was stood for like, what was the saying? I don't know, but I know <sighs> see, all the ABGs was at Irvine. Uh, sayings. Okay, so... B- Tell me if this is true. Or if I heard it before. Yeah, if you heard it. Okay. So UCLA is UC lots of Asians. I didn't know. I've never heard of that one. Okay. What about UCSD is the University of California of the Socially Dead? You know, I could see that happening. <laughs> but <laughs> I could see that happening, but I've never heard of it. What about UCSB is the universe, University of Casual Sex and Beer? Okay. I think I could hear. I could imagine that one. But, you know, I would go to UC San Diego, so... You know? Yeah. So yeah. Socially dead. Yeah. Okay. Damn. That they hurts go- the heart. <laughs> they go, UC Riverside is UC rejected. Yes. I, I, that one's the one that I grew up listening to. Oh, okay. That's why, like, when we grew up, if anyone were like, we're going to UC art, it was kind of like, oh, no one else took you. Why? Is it I hard to get into? I, like, I honestly don't know. So I knew a lot of people that didn't even apply because it was called you see rejects. rejects yeah it was oh like oh you go you see our oh the rejects and so, now, so people like, who get in are they like smart or something i don't know like, like, i know people that went there but i mean like to me it's college is college you know yeah yeah that's how i feel too yeah what about uci i heard there's like lots of abgs oh yeah 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 that's okay all, that's where i would say the most abgs are it's uci mm, okay and then santa barbara was like a slut school so mm. like i heard too <laughs> yeah, okay <laughs> wait okay i want to know what like uc you see, but you see san diego was like people would make fun of it because they're like oh if you go there you'll get the triad eye which is like you lowering your standards like someone would be like ugly but you think they're hot because of the triton eye the what the triton eye the triton eye yeah because that's our mascot oh like, okay so they're just like oh like someone that's like not hot becomes hot because people are just not attractive so that's what they said so they, they glow up in there no they don't glow up they just said we're all ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But that's crazy because like I never heard you know? of these things until it was like brought up. And then someone and then I'm like looking up on what's Urban UC, Dictionary. What's UC okay, what's, what's that one? It says UC Berkeley is uh where place where you run a fifty percent of getting your bike stolen, a sixty five percent chance of getting your computer jacked, and a hundred percent chance just, like, of compromising on all your costs. That would be so scared. <laughs> yeah. Is Berkeley like number one? Uh, I thought it was UCLA. Oh, was it? It's like kind of like both are good. Like the both are the, both are like the ones that people would be are like, oh, those are the more pre- prestigious ones. Or it says UC Berkeley is the University of Competitive Bastards. Oh, is it? See, I don't like. I don't know. Okay. I know a lot of smart people go there. Okay, okay. So maybe that's one why they're like yeah. very competitive. Yeah. Okay, that's so interesting because I literally came from Nevada, so we just have Las Vegas, like you know UNLV, and that's it. We didn't have a bunch of, I would like, a lot of people tell me like I would look, I would fit in UCI. Oh yeah, probably. You would too. We all be there. And also the thing is, I don't think I look like an ABG. Really? Yeah. Like look, lighter (laughs) makeup, no falsies. I don't think I'm an ABG. Maybe like my old hairstyle. I think back then I looked at your photos, you kind of looked pretty ABG when you had blonde hair. Okay, first of all. 
I tried to block that out of my memory. <laughs> I didn't. I, I, I stalked her. Oh. And I was like, damn. I used to think that was the look to go for. I thought so too. You I know? used to do, I don't like Asians with blonde hair when it's like day three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. First day after you get your blonde hair, you're looking like super spicy. Yeah, and then you do like, your hair, they curl it, they style it, and you're looking hot. And then two days later, you have to take care of yourself and you're like, I, look, yeah. I just fried my hair. Exactly. The blonde looks yellow like an egg. Yeah, also it's because <laughs> <laughs> if you don't tone it, like get it toned, it becomes orangey sometimes oh yeah no it's gross yeah yeah so i don't like it at all th- that that's hard life i know but now i'm trying to do the mature i am an adult i am vibe, adult. i am know? adult but i am over 21 now i am adult as I well am adult. i am very adult i have to do, i need people to take me seriously <laughs> me too <laughs> <laughs> me too uh, you looking like that with the hair i don't know i don't know about you with these socks yeah, i, wait, I don't know my hair right now like all, they're brown it's obviously. all one color right it's 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 a mixture it's actually like highlights oh shit yeah I you got like blonde brown. it looks like milk tea okay because i asked yeah. for milk tea highlights kind of like more of like yours and then the lady that did mine i saw it and i was like oh it looks kind of like all brown and i was like i'll just take it i was like i'll just take I it i think it looks way better okay yeah than when i first I met you mature? No, you look younger, actually. Really? Yeah. Yo, it's the makeup style. I think so. You look just look more Korean. That's not a bad Asian. thing, actually. Now people will think that, you know, you like, good. you know how I'm older than you? People will think that I'm younger than you. If we're hold, holding hands, they'll be like, is that your little no, sister? No, I'm pretty sure people would think I'm older just because of height, you're too. you're taller, okay. Tail. Tailor. 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 I'm like, yeah, I am small, so. Well, we're pretty much done here. Um, I'm ready. To, I'm hungry. <laughs> Yeah. I'm actually really hungry now. Yeah, I want to show earlier. the tuna. You know, did you see at Costco they got rid of the churro? Did you see that? Bro, do Wait, you it's think... a chocolate chip cookie now? Did you try it yet? No. It's so good. Why didn't you get it for me, huh? No, I just need you to imagine it. Chocolate you know, like, chip you cookies like Tiff, from Costco? Street, yeah, I do. Dude, this cookie. Oh my god. You it's see like, that big like, ass rabbit like at Costco? Need, it's like we don't need a bazooka. Oh my yes. <laughs> the big ass <laughs> chocolate. I saw it last night. Yeah, the big I chocolate it, I saw, rabbit. I saw it last night and I was like, yo. That's I was a like, fat I was like, ass I was chocolate like, rabbit. I was like, who's gonna buy that? Exactly. Yeah. It's like literally for content at that point. Dude. Yeah. People will just buy it. How much was it? How much was, do you know how much was it? Oh shit. I think I ran out of memory. Oh shit. Hi guys. Okay, so our battery died, and so we're gonna say bye here. Thank you so much, Novi, for hanging out with me. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. We're done. See ya. Oh, and don't forget to rate this. Uh, the uh, rate myself on Spotify. No, click like, subscribe, and what was it like? That too. And send monies. Send monies. <laughs> <laughs>